All right, here we go with Windows 24 H2, which you probably thought was going to be called Windows 12, but is not. They're sticking with Windows 11 this year, and they're just calling it 24 H2, but there's a lot of new stuff. Now, the one thing we're going to look at today is sudo. Now, if you're a Unix head or a Linux head, then you know all about sudo. Sudo is a command that lets you run things as administrator from a prompt that is not already administrator. So I'm sure you've done this a thousand times in your life. Let's have a look. I'll just run CMD, and I'll try a command that I know will require let's see, hibernate. And we'll turn hibernate off. Oh, but it says I can't because I'm not administrator. I didn't start this prompt as an administrator. So what I would normally now have to do is close this prompt, go start a new one, find the shortcut to CMD, right-click on it, pick run as administrator, launch that, start a new console, and then redo the command. We don't have to do that anymore, thanks to the sudo command. Let's have a look. So if I rerun this command, but I put sudo in front of it, what will happen? Well, so far nothing, because sudo is disabled on this machine, and you have to go in and manually enable it. Now, a shortcut for getting there is to just hold down, I guess it is control, and click on the link. That should take me right to settings, and I can say enable sudo right here. I'll just say turn it on, and we'll get a UAC confirmation prompt. Now, if I click the drop down, which you're going to want to do here because there are a couple more options. The way it defaults, it will actually launch that new window for you and do everything that we talked about in those manual steps kind of behind the scenes and then close that window and your thing will go away. But that's not how it works in Linux. It just happens right in line. So let's change windows to do it right in line. In line. There we go. Oops, dragged my head. Now we should be able to close out of this. Now if I run sudo powerconfig slash h, I get a UAC prompt, I say yes, and it just happens magically and it works as administrator. And that's really all there is to sudo. Now there are a couple of power options here that you can look at if we type sudo dash question mark, well, I only have sudo slash h, slash h, command not found. What if I just type sudo? There we go. Sudo run, you don't need that apparently. Sudo config, sudo help, so I can say, preserve the current environment and pass all my env environment variables forward into the new session. I can say, put it in a new window, disable input, put it in line as we did in the settings, change the current working directory, number of other things, help version. But 99% of the time, you're just gonna type sudo followed by the command that you wanted to run as administrator the whole time. So why is this so great? I mean, you could just run as administrator the whole time. And that's the rub. That's what they don't want you to do. Everybody should be running with the least credentials and the lowest power level in terms of security that they can until they actually need that power. And then you judiciously use a pseudo command when and only when you need it. Make sure you're subscribed for helpful Windows information like this. Check out my book on Amazon, the link in the video description. Thanks for joining me out here in the shop. In the meantime and in between time, I hope to see you next time right here in Dave's Garage. <laughs>